the toilet and I looked down. <laughs> and there was my little girl. Hi, I'm Denise. Welcome back to my channel and to another video. In this video today, we are going to be reacting to a show on TLC called I Didn't Know I Was Pregnant. If you haven't heard of this show before, it's a documentary on TLC. The women, they get all the way to the moment of childbirth without even knowing that they were pregnant. And it's so crazy, so let's get started. These stories are also based on true events too. These actually happened to some women. I think that's crazy, so let's start watching. Okay, so right here we have trivia. True or false, for most pregnant women, having their water break is the first sign of labor. The answer when we return. Let's see. I think that it's false. Only because in movies and stuff, they always show it as women's water breaks right away. Then the baby just comes and the baby pops out. But like when you really talk to people, like real people, not in movies, it like actually doesn't happen that way. So I'm going to go with false. And because I also had to be induced too. So, so this is just my personal opinion on it. So I think it's false because of that. But let's see. Answer false. For most, the water does not break on its own. The medical practitioner will break the water once labor has already begun. Mm. I know it. Tragically, when Dawn Pennell was 19 years old, she was diagnosed with polycystic ovarian syndrome, a condition that puts her at a high risk of infertility. I was told at 19 that it would never happen. Your body is ovulating at an extremely high temperature. Okay, so what does that mean then? It means that your body is destroying its own eggs. Wow. It's quite unlikely that you'll be able to get pregnant. That's crazy, I never heard of that before. The news was just heartbreaking to me. I bet. At age 34, both Dawn and her husband take it for granted that she can never get pregnant and do not use any method of birth control. In May of 2005, Dawn loses her job at a call center. Wow. For the next six months, Dawn doesn't get her period at all, but her cycles have always been infrequent. But Dawn does experience weight gain and mood swings, symptoms she and her husband attribute to continued unemployment. Imagine living during the virus, coronavirus right now. I was pretty much a couch potato, and the weight gain was maybe 35 pounds. Dawn was told at 19 that it was impossible for her to bear children. So when she develops food cravings and digestive problems, it never occurs to her that she may be pregnant. Yeah, that's why I think these people don't know that, or it doesn't even cross their mind that they're pregnant because of what they were told from a long time ago that they can't get pregnant or this can't happen or that can't happen when actually it can. I had heartburn and I always wrote that off to be an ice cream because every time I ate ice cream, I seemed to have heartburn. She does not suspect pregnancy even when there is movement in her stomach. I did feel like motions. I wrote it up to gas and me and my husband did kind of make a joke that I had like a little alien inside. <laughs> the little alien back. <laughs> alien, all right. <laughs> That's what they look like. Then, in January of 2006, Dawn's health takes a turn for the worse. I woke up feeling the worst pain. It started in my back, and it felt like someone was just trying to rip me into pieces. Another trivia question. True or false, a home pregnancy test can give a false positive if you wait too long to check the results. The answer when we return. Oh. I think this is true. Actually, I don't know. Comment down below. What do you guys think? I think this is true. If you agree with me, comment down below. True or false? A home pregnancy test can give a false positive if you wait too long to check the results. Answer, true. Mm. If the urine evaporates from the test strip, the color may change to show a positive result, even if you aren't pregnant. Hi again, it's me, Denise, just jumping in the middle of this video to see if you like this video so far. So if you do, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below what do you like so far about this video. And subscribe, the subscribe button is right over here. And most importantly, hit that bell, that way you get notified every single time I upload, which is every other day. Okay, let's jump right back into this video. Now, after eight months of not feeling well, Dawn is in the emergency room with excruciating stomach pain. 
Dang, in her pajamas? Hi, guys. Hey. Okay, so the good news is you do not have kidney failure. <laughs> well, that's good. But two days later, on Friday the 13th, Dawn's condition takes a terrifying turn. I couldn't sit, I couldn't stand, I couldn't lay, I couldn't do nothing. The only person we thought would be Dr. Jeff Enzel, a chiropractor. What I'd like to do today is go ahead and give you an adjustment and see mm -hmm. if I can bring you some relief that way. Okay. He said, okay, well, we're getting a little bit better. But the relief is short-lived. She's on the floor. Ow. The pain was not getting any better. It was getting much worse. I can't take it anymore. So he just came back from wherever and she was just on the floor in the kitchen. She couldn't call him or nothing. That's funny. I don't know. Maybe I would be on the floor too if I didn't know I was pregnant and I was having like crazy back pain. The actors for the reenactment are funny, I guess. Dr. Vensel wonders if Dawn's body may have reacted to her last adjustment and possibly caused a bowel obstruction due to nerve root pressure in her lower back. I got a suppository, inserted it, she laid back down. Probably a half hour later, all of a sudden she goes, I'm finally feeling something. I think it's working. I'm scared, nervous, panicky. <laughs> Katie, I feel like I have to push. And he goes, baby, push it. And I said, okay. <laughs> I was just yelling and screaming that I had relief. Finally, the pain was gone. Hallelujah. And I was just about ready to get up to go back to bed when I heard a cry. <sighs> you hear that? Hear what? And I said, hear what? And I said, I heard a cry. I don't hear it. So we sat there and I heard a cry. Aww. And I stood up from the toilet and I looked down and there was my little girl playing in the mm. toilet looking at me. That's crazy. Dawn's water must have broken while she was on the toilet, where she managed to give birth without an epidural or any other pain medication. The six mm. pound baby is breathing. Wow, six pounds. Is it okay? At the point when we got to the hospital, she wasn't breathing properly. So they went ahead and put her in an oxygen tank. Oh, wow, that sucks. I can't imagine going to the bathroom, thinking I have to go number two, and then pushing out a whole baby. That's crazy. That's so crazy. That's wild. I can't imagine that. Doctors determined that the baby is five weeks premature. She is dangerously ill. If Dawn had known she was pregnant, she would have had prenatal testing, and they would have found that she was positive for group B strep bacteria. Oh, wow. Group B streptococcus can be passed on to the baby during delivery and cause acute infection. Yeah, I remember when I first got pregnant with my son, um, and the doctors told me that I need to take a strep test, and I was like, strep throat? I don't have strep throat. And they're like, oh no, this is a different type of strep. And I was like, oh, the baby could get strep? But then here, obviously, they're explaining it. And my doctor told me that too, that it's not like strep throat, it's something different. But yeah, because I had strep throat before, and I was like, I don't have strep throat, what are you talking about? But then it made sense how it's something related to the baby me and not just for me. Doctors would have treated Dawn with an antibiotic to prevent the bacteria from infecting her newborn. Finally, after 10 days in the NICU, Ariel Pinnell is healthy enough to go home. She suffered no permanent damage from the strep infection. So how is it that Dawn never knew she was pregnant? Yeah, that's what I want to know. I wrote it up to get the devastating news that I would never be able to bear a child. You never saw the baby bump. When my co-workers or my friends ask me, how the heck did you guys not know this? I tell them that Dawn never had a normal period in her life i can't imagine a husband saying that to like to people at work oh yeah my wife never had her period that's why she didn't know she was having a baby like i feel like that's so awkward or that's so like tmi i don't know is that tmi they always say you have signs you always know that you are but i still can't explain why i didn't know the possible bowel obstruction that i palpated and a slight movement of it could have been the baby turning and dropping into the birth canal it all made sense after the fact. It always does. Two and a half years later, Ariel Pinnell shows no signs of trauma from her dramatic arrival. I could finally be a mom. One of my goals in life. Aww. To be a mom to my own child. What's the other two colors? I felt love and just utter happiness. All wrapped up. Aww. Aww, she's so cute. I always like when they're all happy in the end and they're all healthy, you know, they don't have any permanent problems or anything like that. They're such a cute family afterwards. I just can't believe that she gave birth in the toilet. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, so that was today's episode of I Didn't Know I Was Pregnant. If you guys want, I can link the video down below, but let me know.
thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it make sure to give it a thumbs up comment down below your favorite part and share this video with all your friends don't forget to subscribe the subscribe button is right over here and hit the bell most importantly hit the bell so that you get notified every time i upload which is every other day also check out the links down below the links to my social media and on my channel make sure you check out the playlist that i have for my painting videos or my photography videos subscribe and join the family i'll see you in my next video bye